I want to give you a secret of how I've let go and I actually allowed the universe to bring love into my life. And I let go of control and I let go of obsession. So if you're struggling with that, stay right here in this video because I'm going to help you. But before, if you're new to the channel, my name is Tyson. This is Owning Purpose, helping you to discover your gift and to own your purpose in life. On this channel, we talk about personal growth. We talk about breaking limiting beliefs. We talk about spirituality, relationships, and breaking away from attachments, okay, in all things. Now, today's video is about allowing the universe to bring love to you. Stop obsessing and being in control. So here's one of the biggest things that I've realized when I posted the video that I think I'll put up, up in the cards. I made a video about stop obsessing over a manifestation, an ex, or a relationship. And that video has done pretty well, about a thousand views so far. But one of the things that I've gotten from that video and a lot of the reviews in that video was the fact that everybody seems to be obsessed and in control of a relationship or of a person that they really want. And if you have studied the law of attraction or you know anything about the law of attraction, you know that when you're becoming obsessive or you're becoming in control of something, you are actually causing that thing to go away from you. And you're also building up more tension, stress, and anxiety in your body trying to control something that is not within your control. So today I wanna to teach you about how to let go and how to actually allow the universe, source energy, God, whatever you believe in, to bring that to you, okay? Even if you believe in trees, like you can see on the reflection of my backyard, <laughs> okay? So, one of the best ways that I would say in allowing the universe to bring love to you is to be aware that there's already love with inside of you. And this is a practice thing that you have to do, right? You have to understand that love is already within you and if you're not working on love within yourself, I suggest you do some shadow work. I have some inner child healing playlists that I'll put up above as well to where you can learn how to start healing within yourself. Because when you heal and when you love yourself from past traumas, from pains, from an ex, from anything that has hurt you in your life, you actually start to learn what it's like to see love, okay? And that is a big part because once you learn to love yourself, you know that you attract everything to you because you are love. So that means you attract love. Now, when it comes to obsessing and being in control, when you obsess, that means that you feel that you are in lack, right? If I'm obsessing about money that I want to have so badly, that means that I feel subconsciously right? Even if I'm not consciously noticing it, subconsciously I feel like I'm in lack of money. So because I don't see the money right now, because I don't know where the money is, I feel that I'm in lack of money. So it's the same way when you are dealing with love, when you're dealing with a partner. I don't have love right now, so I'm feeling lack of love. So I am trying to force something with someone that is not natural. And you ever notice how sometimes when you really want someone or you really want to date someone and you try to get their attention and it doesn't seem like they're responding, it doesn't seem like they care and they're not responding and they don't really care. And then the person that you don't, you're not really even thinking about like that comes along. Like you just attract this person randomly and you're like, I wasn't even really looking for them, but okay, let's just try it out and experiment. The reason why is because you're not in resistance. You're allowing those things to flow to you. Versus when you're dealing with a person you're really crushing on, you're pushing so hard to want them that they're actually going away from you, honey. <laughs> so how do we let the universe bring love to us? How do we let go of this concept? How do we give ourselves love? The first thing we have to do to let go is realize that we are in control of nothing. We're in control of very small things. And when it comes to love, we're not in control of whether someone responds to us or calls us or texts us. We're not in control of how someone wants to treat us in a relationship. And so the way that we learn how to let go of all these things is, again, I keep saying it because it's so true, practice giving love to yourself. The universe always gives us a reflection of what we believe in ourselves. So if you believe that you are not worthy of love, you, will, you might attract love, but you're gonna attract assholes that don't treat you correctly. <laughs> Pardon my French, okay? So that's one thing. When we believe in what we deserve, when we know what we deserve, when we believe in ourselves, 
we actually end up attracting those things in which we believe. So when you let go of trying to make things happen, you ever had an interview or you wanted an email or you wanted a call and you just said, you know what, I'm stressed, I'm tired, I'm frustrated, I'm closing the laptop, I'm walking away. You went to go watch TV, you went to go do some errands, whatever, and then you come back on your laptop looking at, you know, Fashion Nova, and you weren't even thinking about the email, you just go happen to go check your email because you're looking for your Fashion Nova items to be sent to you, and then out of nowhere, you get that email that you were looking for. Or you get that phone call, you were going to go call, you know, your doctor's appointment and set that up, and then automatically your lover or your crush or whoever it is calls you right or that opportunity calls you and so this is what happens when we allow the universe to, 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 to work for us to bring that love for us when we start to work on ourselves and we start to have self-development we start to do personal growth when we start to break down the limiting beliefs and the paradigms that were put upon us maybe as children when we start to purge out that stuff what I call inner child healing and we start to love ourselves we will then attract better and when you realize that the love is already with inside of me, and if you don't have love, if you're like Tyson, I wasn't told as a child that I was loved. I, I have a problem, you know, loving myself. I don't know how to do that. I suggest you go to my inner child healing series and learn, okay? Because when you start learning that love is already within you, and you start looking around, start, go through your DMs on Instagram. Go through your pictures on social media. See if anyone has left you comments of, of, of just, you know, praising you in some type of way, giving you loving comments, complimenting you, saying, you know, you're so attractive, you're so cute, you're so, all the people you didn't give a time of, of day to, go and check and see how many people have sent you loving messages. This could be friends, this could be family, this could be, this could be anyone, it could be text messages, voicemails. That is how you know that you are loved. And that is how you know that love is coming to you. It may not come from the person you want it to come from, but it's coming to you. You can still attract your love, the love that you want to attract. You can still attract that soulmate, that twin flame, whatever it is you, you want to call it, the one. But you have to let go of obsessing. When you keep checking your phone, when you keep, when you keep um, um, talking to your friends about it, when you keep looking and searching so much, you keep checking your phone, you keep staying up late trying to wait for this guy to come over, trying to wait for this girl to come over. You are living in a state of desperateness. You are living in a state of being in control. I actually made a video, I forgot what the video was called, but the thumbnail was called, You Look Desperate. <laughs> I'm gonna put my relationship and manifest playlist up here so you guys can check it out because that video along with some other videos that I've created you must understand that as a manifester as an attractor as a person who is on this planet and who is, you are you're owning your purpose too. your purpose right now that you're listening to this video is to understand how to let the universe bring love to you how to drop these obsessions and when you understand that you are the point of attraction when you get yourself to the point where you love yourself so much to where you say, oh my gosh, life is so beautiful. I am so grateful and thankful for this beautiful, awesome life because I am the attractor and I attract all good things to me. The universe gives me great love and happiness every single day. And when you start believing that in yourself and it's not just some mantra that you're just saying out of your mouth and there's no feelings, the universe always brings to us what we feel. When we feel good, when we feel excited, when we believe in what it is that we are deserving of wholeheartedly and we don't let anything stop us, the universe says, okay, cool. I'm gonna show you a reflection of what it is that you're speaking and saying and living about yourself. So please remember that you are deserving of love today. And please also remember that you are deserving of love from the person that you may want to attract into your life. But you must first be the point of attraction for yourself. You must first be the attraction in what you want to attract. And what does that even mean? That means that you must start to, if you want to be a nutritionist, if you want to um, start losing weight, you want to be a gym guru, you need to start doing these things naturally. Start tapping in. You know how some people, they get into like, um, you know, plants and stuff like that. They get into veganism, eating vegan and all these different things, taking care of their health and their body. It's because they want to feel good inside. And when they feel good inside, they actually end up attracting other people along the way who start, who do the same thing as them or who feel good. When you feel good, you attract good people. 
When you be negative, you attract negative people. The universe always gives us a reflection of how we behave in our life. How we wake up every day and what we believe about ourselves. If you're a person that gets up early in the morning and you're obsessing about that person texting you back and trying to be in control of whether they're going to call you back or not, getting upset because that person didn't call you or text you on time, you are trying to be in control of another human being. And that's very unattractive. And I've been there too. But if you enjoyed today's video, <laughs> make sure you smash the like button and drop a comment down below. Are you learning to love yourself so that the universe can bring love to you? Are you dropping obsession? If you have a problem with controlling or obsession with a guy, with some type of relationship, let me know your situation down below. And also, drop any topics or questions that you may have and I might turn them into a video, okay? So, today, I want you to practice this. I want you to practice saying, I allow the universe to show love within myself. I allow the universe to show me the love that is within inside of myself. I allow the universe to show me the love that is within myself. Type that down in the comments. Smash the like button if that, if that mantra resonated with you. Because in order for anybody to love us, we must first love ourselves. I know that's so tacky, but it's true. And in order for you to attract the love, you must love yourself and you must understand you are not in control of anyone. So it doesn't matter who the person is, you are not in control. You can be in a relationship right now. You need to practice self-love, setting boundaries. The same things that you're doing now when you're single, when you get with that person, do the same exact thing that you've been doing when you were single. You are deserving of love today and I wanna let you know that. So, if you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe below, hit the notification bell. I drop videos multiple times throughout the week. And again, if you are tapped into personal growth, breaking limiting beliefs, spirituality, relationships, moving away from attachments, and overall just wanting to become a better person to attract better in your life, I promise you this channel is exactly for you. I am so, so grateful for all of the subscribers that are on this channel. Thank you for everyone who shares and likes this video because it also spreads to other people on the platform, and I am extremely grateful for each and every one of you that is watching this video today, okay? May blessings be with you guys today. May the universe guide you, protect you, and show wonderful and exciting miracles in your life today. If you have any testimonials of like love that's happened, have you attracted love in your life lately? Put them down in the comments. Whatever you're feeling right now, whatever's resonating with you, put it down in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. And um, yeah, follow me on tuk -tuk uh, TikTok too, if you guys want to. My TikTok's down below in the description box, my Instagram, everything else is down below. So peace and blessings to you guys, um, and have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Peace.